Quadrant, um, Mr. Samson, Command Sergeant McQuiddy. What an exciting day. Um, the band, thank you so much for being here today. Just add such class to the ceremony. Um, I can't believe I have the band in the ceremony for me. <laughs> Um, thank you all so much for, for joining me on this special, very special, once-in-a-lifetime occasion. Not only has the Lord blessed me with the opportunity to command, but I am the first commander of the newest contracting battalion assigned to the Army Contracting Command. In my career, uh, I've had the opportunity to command and lead some of the most professional soldiers, NCOs, officers, and civilians that the Army has to offer. Receiving the op opportunity to command the 921st Contingency Contracting Battalion is a reflection of the impact that these Army professionals have had on molding me into the caring leader who always takes care of soldiers and achieves mission accomplishments. As I embark on the first steps of this exciting journey, I want to thank Major General Harrison and Ms. Weirich for walking me, me to the ACC Command Team. It is a great honor, and I will serve to the utmost of my abilities with integrity and the greatest care for the soldiers and civilians of the 921st and the ACC Red Stars. Although the 921st is the newest contracting battalion, the four teams that are assigned to the battalion are not new. The 625th and the 626th, they were activated in 2007, and the 741st and the 742nd were activated in 2012. The NCOs and officers of these teams uh, and the newly formed battalion staff who arrived before me have worked endless hours to lay the groundwork for this battalion, and also to make this ceremony what it is today, a great success. Thanks to all of you, all of you, for your hard work. I want to give a special thanks to Major Mike Garrett for narrating today's ceremony, and Captain Hannah Riley, who you don't see, she's out there, for coordinating the reception and all the detail soldiers. To my new battle, Mass Sergeant Taylor, there are no words. Already, you have proven to be invaluable, ensuring I have everything that I need to be prepared on time, in the right place, at the right time, in the right uniform, with the right information. You give me answers before I even ask the questions. So I look forward to the next year together before you head off to the Sergeant Major Academy. Congratulations to you. Well deserved. To my new husband, Kendrick, I'm so excited to have you by my side in this great journey that we're going to have here together as a command team. Thank you for being my rock and my sound board. Michelle, big sis, you are truly amazing. Two weekends ago, you drove 1,200 miles to South Dakota to take your oldest daughter to college, and you flew back home to Round Rock, Texas. Last weekend, you drove 400 miles each way to take your middle daughter to college in Texarkana. This weekend, you drove another 900 miles with your youngest son, Michael, <laughs> to be with me on this very special day. And tomorrow, you start the 900-mile trek back home. Oh, and you've been working harder than anyone I know in between all those trips. Thank you for being my role model, my supporter, my sister, and my friend. Thank you for your love of the Army and the care that you give to me and all the units that I've been in so far. And for all the soldiers that you meet, no matter where they are. Thank you. Little buddy, thank you so much for coming all this way with your mama. It really means a lot to me. Uncle Rich and Aunt Kathy, thank you for coming up from Birmingham. It's so nice to have family close by. Uncle Rich, thank you for your 20 years of service. Um, you should have gone Army 
that was the key for that. <laughs> um, I'm truly excited for this opportunity to serve as the 921st Contingency Contract Battalion Commander, and I look forward to the next three years. All the current policies and procedures remain in effect. The few support the men. Army strong. Thank you.